If we could get a global compact that is at its core an agreement to cooperate, where everybody's self-interest is well accommodated and that a lot, has a lot of political buy-in, I think we're going to get more tangible results on the ground than, I think, the aspiration to something that looks binding but yields very little in reality. The reality is law, any form of law, operates by compliance, not by coercion, by voluntary compliance. Otherwise, we would be in total chaos. And this is particularly true of international law. We could sit and negotiate for 10 years to try to have a convention on migration, which in the course of the negotiations would be diluted to its lowest possible uh, standard to accommodate everybody. And then the next day, most of those trying to water it down would not ratify it in any event. This is the history of, I think, a lot of uh, negotiations of so-called binding instruments. Migration now has a home in the SDGs, in the Sustainable Development Goals, in many aspects, but very specifically under SDG 10, which speaks about reducing inequalities between and within countries. And I think this is very significant, that we're, the United Nations, for the first time in its history, is prepared to talk about migration in a cooperative spirit and very much in the context of the broad development agenda. Um, what's your assessment of, on the currency? When people think about migrants, the image is immediately of a young man, and in the minds of some, uh, coming in to either steal their jobs or abuse their welfare system. The reality has nothing to do with that. 48% of international migrants are women. Uh, migrants overall have a lower rate of unemployment, even though they work usually for lower wages and benefits, but they are, for the most part, migrant workers. So they do work. They spend over 80% of their income in their country of destination, and the 15 or so percent that they send back home in the form of remittances equals, in totality, more than three times official development aid that developed countries spend using their taxpayers' money uh, to assist uh, developing countries. So the economic, the positive income, economic impact of migration is uh, uh, enormous. Presumably you're not talking about Justin Trudeau. 